Man, this is Josh Johnson back at it again with another banger, bro. You already know I'm coming through with the marathon, giving y'all some bangers back to back. That's just what we're going and that's what we're doing. So make sure you subscribe, turn the post notifications, like the video, subscribe for more content, and then also ask me any questions down below. And then you can also add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is Bruders or Die if you need any help. Get at me, my guy. Just get at me, bro. I'm going to help you out. So. We're getting right into the video, and this video is going to be how to get your one of your waves of spam, bro. This is important. This is what y'all need, bro. It's getting warmer, you know what I mean? You, This is important, bro. That's all I'm going to tell you. I ain't going to tell you what the spinning of the waves do, but I'm just going to tell you how to get it, you know what I mean? So, we're going to get right into it. So, basically, what I really want to get into or why I started the video so, off, I guess, with uh, Thank you guys like for watching my videos. Like I know I, um, is that I this is like me when I got a cut, I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying? Really fresh cut, everything so like really that. And I feel like that's important. Time, uh, I, I would say for confidence guys, like, too, like, like this confidence, like eating like away, but yeah. also just always making sure your hair is at the right Like That's something I want to tell you guys is that the more often you get a cut, like every two weeks or whatever you prefer, like if you want your hair higher or lower, getting the cut more often just helps out with you just not having your hair over curly. Yeah, or having run into problems, you know what I mean. You cut your problem areas off, you get to start over. You know, you get a fresh, clean cut. You get to start over. You get to do what you need to do to get your next weeks good. You know what I mean. To get them even better, fix the kinks, iron out the kinks, get them back to where you need them to be. And uh, you know what I'm saying. If you miss any days, you can you can catch up, bro. That's why I recommend a fresh cut. This is something that is very very important if you want your waves to spin. And then. Once you get that done, like once you get the cut done, what you want to focus yeah, on now like is the pomade, bro. The oh, good pomade, the gold oh, sporting waves. Uh, this is what's very, very important. So that way your hair is laying down, it's trained. You know what I mean? The gold sporting waves is going to help. And then, you know, the do rag and everything that helps out. Everything works together as one. But this is what we're focused on is the gold sporting waves, man. This is something if you have it, the pomade. If you, want, if you want to get it and show it, like hold it while I'm making the video, it definitely does help. But you know, use that, bro. Don't be afraid of it. And also, don't be afraid to use it while you're burning your brush sessions. You know what I'm saying? You're brushing your hair. Don't use a lot, but you know, put a little bit in. See how much you want to use. Um, probably like a, a dime size amount, like nothing crazy. Probably even smaller than that. But like doing your brush sessions, you can put that in your hair so that way your hair is getting used to being in that certain pattern you know what i mean it's giving that moisture it's getting that that laid down look and then you're getting more into like wolfing you know what i mean but really 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 focus on the pomade really make sure that you're getting your angles and everything but also know that the gold sport waves is saving your progress bro you really really want that and then as you get more familiar with it you can use uh leave-in conditioner i say that also helps out with the shine just because your hair is going to be healthy you know what i mean that's something i really promote too is make sure you're using leave-in conditioner so that way you're not only getting like really really good ways but you're getting healthy ways at the same time so whenever you're taking care of your scalp and everything like that using good products using products that's going to last and natural products you're going to be rewarded with good shiny hair bro you're going to be rewarded it's going to be so much more manageable manageable it's so much more easier to use bro like your hair so just realize that and then realize that you don't want to sell yourself self short on that so leave-in conditioner is a uh, definitely a must-have but a leave-in conditioner with the gold sport of waves is a key combination for making sure they're spinning bro like i'm telling you this plus the sun it, it's just gonna get you to where you need them to be bro so just realize that make sure that you know that having a pomade is key if you run out of pomade you definitely need to get some more just so your hair is laying down you don't have to work as hard bro you don't have to do as much as you you know you see everything else you can just really kind of coast with it once you have the good pomade and you're, you're learning how to use it so also i wanted to talk about using the pomade with the brush session that's also very very important so that way when you're getting to your brush sessions, your hair is laying down, it's not sticking up, it's not standing up, and you don't have to always get a cut. But notice that, you know, once you're using a good pomade and your hair is laying down, you won't have to trim, keep trimming your hair. You won't have to keep going, making tons of shops to the barbershop because you'll notice once you 
get the good pomade in your hair is trained and then you like put your do-rag on you're going to be able to push your haircuts out a little bit further you know what i mean if you're not able to get a cut let's say if your barber's out or whatever like that you're able to buy more time bro so just understand that and then you know as i was saying before like using a brush method basically with that you know you can brush for an hour but instead of just brushing with nothing in your hair you can try using just a small tiny bit of pomade man so just put it in your hair evenly throughout and then brush make sure you get your angles i would suggest doing a mirror brush so that way you know you can get angles you can figure out how you want your waist to go what pattern you want to do where your crown is everything like that if you want to do 180 360 this is the time to do it so you can figure that out but yeah you just pretty much just a mirror brush figure out your angles get into it and uh be consistent on that so also too the pomade is very very important for wolfing and basically wolfing is just you extending the process of your wave routine to where your hair is getting longer and you're also you know sticking to it so your hair is getting longer but you're also wavy at that point as well so um basically wolfing gets them deeper and then with them laying down with the pomade it's going to have that spinning effect you know the rings like the perfect rings and everything that's really the pomade there's really really the pomade the pomade and then the, like the leave-in conditioner but more so the pomade and then the brush sessions and then also too i'm gonna have more videos on that but the brush sessions you want them to be like i would say like an hour uh, depending on how good you want your pattern to be this is all optional on you but I would suggest an hour so that way you can make sure that your hair is the best possible you know what I mean anything longer than that is great but you don't want your hair to fall out so you don't have to go too long but like an hour is really good because you're gonna have time with your hair specifically you're gonna have time with your pattern you're gonna learn it more often the better you do a one hour session good one hour sessions because you're gonna understand hey you know this my hair looks better when i do this amount of pomade this pomade or leave-in condition works better with my hair with my scalp and everything like that so understanding your personal hair is going to be a key factor in this but understanding that you know using good products and then also using that pomade with the brush session is going to give your hair that clarity and that depth that you're looking for that you need for them to spin bro spinning is just honestly one of the best feelings because once your hair is spinning you know you're so close to being elite you know you're so close to being to that perfect pattern that you're looking for but just know that use natural products as well um for leave-in conditioner uh leave-in conditioner if you're looking for that shine that's why i recommend to it that health and the shine that is really really important and, and normally those products are natural i mean other products that aren't natural you can use them but just for a lifetime of your hair lifetime of just having shiny waves and then like the health of your hair you want to make sure that they're natural and then you know you combine everything the brush session the leave-in conditioner and the pomade you're going to be gucci bro that's just basically all it is it's really really simple but it's just really stacked on routines all into one to get you to that next level so just know using the pomade getting used to the pomade don't be afraid to use the pomade i don't use too much of the pomade but you know if you do get carried away you're also able to wash it out so remember that it's almost um too with the pomade it gives you like a more glue consistency like you will notice it the more you're using it it's like wow look this is really like almost like beeswax like it's it's sticky and it goes to my hair and it glues it down that's what saves it so that plus the do rag you know that's kind of like the end stages of that so after your brush session you can put the pomade in do the brush session then rag up next thing you know boom your hair is wavy your hair is like wavy and then also too you're getting that spin sensation that spin look which is what we're all chasing what we all love so you know what i'm saying just do that you'll be fine just know how to use that and then also too if you have any questions you can definitely add me on snapchat and ask me but don't be afraid of a pomade always have a pomade too don't go without it and uh use it and then the pomade lasts a long time too like you can have pomades for like years especially the murray's and i don't know why but that murray's never goes anywhere but you know for the gold square ways you can just have that keep up with it keep using it get to the clarity you know what I'm saying get to the spinning waves you know what i mean that's good you gucci so just realize that don't be afraid to use it man just really use it get used to it and put it in your hair bro don't be afraid so 
um i think that's pretty much it just wanted to get you all like quick tips on that it's just like the gold palmade the gold spreading waves it's important use it don't be afraid don't work hard on what you have to and uh yeah that's it I um, just want to give you all the tips on that. And then if you have any questions, leave them down below. Add me on Snapchat if you have any more questions. And I'll get back to you on my next video. Thanks so much. And I'll see you.